In this world, there are monsters and ghosts where humans can develop unique powers depending on the potential of their soul. Some are powerful enough to kill demons and others become so strong that they can become bald like Satama. This awakening of powers in the human race occurs thanks to something unknown. Lin suddenly wakes up in the trash. My name is Lin Xiao, and I'm the guy who just woke up in the trash. My hair looks messy, but my body seems unharmed. Some characters from other stories are invincible from the first minute, something insurmountable. But I'm mediocre and talentless on a waste. My life wasn't already great, and I died in such a shameful way. If I find the one who killed me, I will kill. What's that noise behind me? When Lin looks, there's a guy damaging public property. The guy turns, twisting his neck, and says he smells fresh human. Our hero gets startled, and the guy asks to examine his body. Lin Xiao screams, and he'll come near, but the guy opens a Demogorgon mouth. But suddenly, there comes a scissor at high speed towards the guy and cuts his head off. Black blood splashes everywhere, and the guy evaporates. The scissor returns to a feminine hand, and a sweet voice saying, Well, well, it isn't my little brother. She seems powerful. Lin thanks for being saved and thinks, Wow, not only is she strong, she's beautiful. She stares at him and asks, Little brother, am I beautiful? Lin just got out of the trash can and is still confused. I'm so lost, are women in this world so direct? Not to mention she's quite beautiful, he. Yeah, sure, he just agreed. And what do you think now? Am I still beautiful? Opening a monstrous mouth. Lin, frightened, screams, what the heck is this? Why does the woman who saved me and made me fall in love out of nowhere turn into a monster? She licks his face. And Brotha, what a huge tongue. This woman is dangerous, but she wants the answer from our protagonist. Lin thinks, wow, she's so close, I'm about to die, but this is amazing, calm down, this is not the time to be thinking about something like that. I have to find a way out of this situation, but if I say she's beautiful, she'll cut my mouth. If I say she's not beautiful, she'll kill me. What am I going to do? Oh, she grabbed the scissor and put it in his mouth. If you don't say anything, I'll have to fix your face. Hey man, I just got reborn and someone helped me. But like a good reincarnated, the system appears and is connected. I feel like time stopped, but I can't move either. The system mourns five second time limit to make the choice, but you can't even read this whole text in five seconds. Choose one, escape immediately, but she will chase you. As a reward, a powerful ingredient that multiplies your current strength. Choose two, kneel and beg for mercy, but you'll have to fulfill any request from the hottie by kissing her. Reward pills that awaken physical talent SSS choose three. If you die under the lips of a beautiful woman, you'll become a ghost. So I mean, think about it. Just kiss her already, you idiot. Confused, Lin asks, what kind of mission is this? The reward for stealing a kiss from her is a random SSS ability. Looks like I got the legendary mission system. I understand video games well, the only thing that will get me out of this situation would be something SSS level. But before he finishes the thought, the system restrictions are lifted, Lin has to perform the task. He grabs her shoulder, which confuses her a bit. How he's going to kiss a mouth that big I don't know, but he pulls without hesitation and begins the adventure. The girl thinks, my god, I'm feeling something for the first time, and her scissor fell. The guy even untransformed her mouth, and she turned back Kuwait all shy saying she's not pure anymore. Our protagonist in two minutes did more than 90% of manga protagonists, and he thinks so beautiful I didn't expect a demoness to be so affectionate. Looks like my charm worked on her. She steps out of his arms and says, my name is Hong. Well, surely me again. She is enveloped in a small tornado and disappears. Lin completed the task, unlocking the random SSS. Supernatural power reward. Shout this phrase out loud to receive the reward. He wonders who's going to shout this out in the middle of the street. Whatever. I just got reincarnated in the trash and kissed a monster, you know what? Smash the darkness with thunder. A creature appears in the sky and gets struck by lightning. People in the city watching, wow, what's that in the sky? We then see a clog and a woman impressed that someone awakened an S rank or higher talent. As far as I know, there should only be one man in the city of Kanglin. Could it be the descendant of that boy? and the creature disappears into the sky. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the SSS level ability. He looks at his slightly purple hand and thinks, is this my power? The host's current strength is low, and SSS level ability like Shai Yu can complement the host's strength. To increase it, you must gradually unlock the other parts of this ability. Lin Xiao thinks, wait, the memories this body has from this world tell me that a warrior's limit is S, and I awaken something SSS. In that case, does that mean I'm invincible? He's very confident. Now with this SSS power, I have no doubt that in no time I will become incomparable and rise to the top of the world. I'm even excited thinking about it. The system mourns, be careful. A large number of ghosts and monsters have been detected approaching the host's position. Flee the area as soon as possible. 
Lin thinks you must be kidding again. I don't even have the strength to fight yet. I'm out of here. Our protagonist flees. Lin ran frantically for half an hour until he found the house of the body's former owner. Phew, is this my house? But the house is very luxurious. It must be worth what? 100 million? It's the first time I've entered such a large place. I'm even nervous. He opens it and sees his sister. She says, bro, why did you take so long to come back? He gets confused and wonders, my sister Kekse. Wow, I almost forgot that this body had a sister. She gets surprised, why are you hurt? You have a lot of bruises on your body. Lin replies, oh, it's because the day was rainy, the road was slippery, and I fell, he. His sister then says, oh dear, you're so careless, brother. But here's some ginger soup. He thanks her and becomes all happy, and she says she's going to sleep. Lin thinks, as far as I remember, I was adopted by the Lin family when I was a child. Since then, I've been living with my two stepsisters. The problem is that both are very talented while I was a complete loser. Three years ago, my sister was even selected to enter the special division due to her excellent grades. So her schedule is always busy and she hardly comes home. I was supposed to take care of my younger sister, but the idiot of this body was a rebel. He could barely take care of himself, let alone his sister. Oh well, let me drink my soup. Someone suddenly shouts, Lin, come here and get surprised who the hell broke my door when I was drinking my soup. The melon carrying girl says it won't help and hide. Lin Xiao thinks Chu Zhu Nail, she's a childhood friend of this guy. He asks her, what are you doing here? She points her finger at him, asking how dare he confess to her. He even used a megaphone, you humiliated me and you have to explain. Our protagonist starts to think, calm down, I confessed my love to her and then was found dead in the trash. Is there a connection between these events? Oh, forget it. Let me take care of this woman first. He then explains that he was just joking. You took that seriously? As if I would fall in love with a woman as violent and fierce as you. I'm afraid you'll devour me. But she comes kicking. You're gonna die. And he dodged. He dodges, but the nosebleed is inevitable when meeting at a certain angle. I think he saw something, huh? His eyes even sparkled. She gets embarrassed. Lin Xiao, you scoundrel, you looked at you. He says it wasn't on purpose, moreover, you're to blame for showing such things to an innocent teenager like me. You should apologize to me, but now she's in a fighting stance. At this point, the sister steps forward to protect Lin. She has Annie's tibbers on her arm, apparently. I bet that teddy bear turns into a big bear. Chu Junyao says she doesn't talk to kids, Lin. Just don't forget that tomorrow is the special abilities test day at school. You have to have at least level C or higher to enter Kangling Academy. I myself have awakened classic powers and was sent to the academy in advance. I already have a bright future waiting for me. But as for you, it's impossible for you to catch up with me in this life. So forget about me, you'll just be an ordinary person in society. Bro, that why talk to our protagonist like that? He thinks, an ordinary person? Little does she know that I have a special SS power. I'll never be considered someone ordinary. At this moment, the system window opens. The task has been activated. He sees the choices and thinks, this system is full of options. Choose one of the options. Option one, pretend not to care about the situation to maintain your peace and quiet. Reward, one point of agility. Option two, apologize to her and acknowledge your disrespect. Reward, 10 points of strength. Option three, make a vow that you will become powerful in the future. Gain one point of strength. Lin thinks, look at this system, it wants me to humiliate myself to her. I refuse to do that even if the second reward is better. I choose option three, Chu Junyo, I swear that not only will I follow the path of a psychic, but I will also enter Kanglin Academy with my own strength. She looks at him. Oh well, anyone can brag now, but I want to see you prove it with your actions. Congratulations to the host, you received one point in strength. She leaves. Bye bye. Lin thinks, I swear sooner or later you will regret it. His sister says she trusts he will be able to awaken, and he seems motivated. Night falls and he lies down to sleep. Until that woman with the big mouth and an even bigger heart appears licking his ear. Thankfully, she transforms back, she thinks. The boy who stole my first kiss. Now you will have to take responsibility for that for the rest of your life. The next morning, our protagonist wakes up in a hurry to go to school. Eating a bread that looks like plastic, his sister wishes him good luck on the psychic test. Brother, you better not disappoint me. Bro thought was that a threat or an encouragement? After a while, Lin stops, I can't run with this body. Damn, last night I dreamed I slept with a ghost woman. It's weird. It was too realistic. It felt like it happened. The question is, did he sleep beside her or did she sleep on top? With this entering Clan Glan, the first secondary school. Conference hall. The crazy woman from yesterday is there saying, look at these students for God's sake, make an organized line. They are worse than the last ones. 
Our Lynn there in the middle of the crowd and pulls a guy to ask. Hey, is this the evaluation site? The blonde guy says, get out of here. But he gets confused. Wait, Lin Chao? This guy really wasn't supposed to be dead? He looks at our protagonist and asks what he's doing. Our hero responds by asking if that guy is Yang Yi, and he remembers that from the memories of this body, this guy is my enemy. Does he have anything to do with my death? I can't be careless. The guy replies, I didn't expect you to dare to come for the test. At that moment, the announcer warns the psychic ability test has begun. This test will determine your future. Only if you have awakened to level C or higher will you have a chance to enter Clan Blan Academy. First to be evaluated will be Xiaoming. Xiaoming go there, put your hand on the ball, and they announce. Wang Xiaoming, you awaken Iron Pot. What do you mean, Iron Pot? The other there awaken a cigarette. The other awaken toilet paper. The blonde here arrives and everyone says, my god, it's Yanji, it's Yanji. He puts his hand on the ball and awakens a classic talent, the ghost wolf. This wolf reminds me of the villain from Puss in Boots 2. Everyone is ecstatic, the girls there with their hearts in their hands. Oh my god, Yanji, he's amazing. However, next comes Lin Chao. Now they are confused. Was that Lin really here to take the test? He comes there excited, but it looks like the zipper is kind of open. Everyone laughs at him, but he will take the test. Yanji says that the protagonist likes to embarrass himself. Lin Xiao becomes confused, why is everyone laughing so much? Am I really that handsome? The guy warns, Mr. Lin Xiao, your pants are open. He says, it's okay, let's quickly take the skills test. All arrogance and prejudice will disappear. Now you will witness a miracle. He puts his hand on the ball, everyone is impressed. Lin Xiao thinks, now you will discover what a true SS class man is. But his ability is FFF, deficient or incapable. The guy even gets scared. Lin Xiao, FNF is even unknown. He looks back and gets lost. Wait, FNF, invalidated. What is this? The blonde guy says, you didn't disappoint us by disappointing us, ha, huh, Lin Xiao? You really are incapable. This guy's life is ruined. It's better for him not to try to get close to Chu Junio anymore. Up there, Chu Junio is holding her face in disappointment. Lin Xiao thinks, wait, something's wrong. There has to be something wrong. Until a female hand touches the boy's face and says, it seems like you need my help. It's the ghost woman. Oh yeah, relax, I'm here to help you. His potential starts to increase. It seemed to be rising rapidly. Measurement data indicates an S-class potential. With such high potential, even someone with an FFF rank could reach in a rank. Potential, which is how far you can go. Chu Junya, not bad kid. The blonde guy is confused, wondering a failure like him. The analyzing teacher. Hum, you're at the FF at level, but you have a potential of one in a million S rank. Yeah, kid. I think you passed. Lin Xiao celebrates happily. In the future, I'll be a professional psychic. Ten minutes after the tests, look, the blonde guy is coming to bother Lin, saying it's a waste for him to have all that potential. Lin Xiao replies, hmm, jealous of my potential, aren't you? But the blonde retorts, how could someone envy a loser like you? You want? Then let's fight. The system window appears again, pausing time and asking the question. Choose number one. Assume a calm expression and ignore Yang Yi. Three points of agility. Accept Yang Yi's fight request and cause him pain. Three points of strength. Choose number three. Find him later to resolve the issue with the girl. Three psychic points. Time unlocks. And Yang is talking, ha, huh? I'm the master of the Yang family. Lin Xiao says he chooses number two. Me wanting to punch you and you still ask me. That's what I call a favor. And Yang falls to the ground beaten up. With this, our protagonist gained three points of strength. The blonde guy starts to emit an aura, saying, not even my father hits me. How dare you? But someone already tells them to stop everything. The second level of the practical test is about to begin. Students who have passed and were able to awaken. Follow me and prepare to proceed to the real battlefield. Our protagonist sees a snake on her arm. So she's already from Kanglin Academy. The next chapter starts on the road along the outskirts of Kanglin. The second level of the practical test is extremely important. And those who pass it will enter the academy and become official students. Our protagonist is peeking. You know where, right? But she's already giving him an angry look. Lin Xiao wonders, why is she staring at me so much? At this moment, the driver sees some bats coming at full speed towards the bus. The bats hit the glass, and the bus starts shaking and falls to the ground. Our boy even hits his face on the glass. He becomes confused, wondering what's happening. How did this overturn? Where did these weird bats come from? The well-dressed instructor also seems to know nothing. If she doesn't know what's going on, imagine our confused protagonist. The students try to fight the creatures. The blonde sees Lin and comes to punch him. 
In fact, he stops the bat and throws it at Lin, saying, Lin Shell, take this little gift. Our hero kicks it back at him. It's for you with this. Yang grabs it and tears it. You don't think you're getting away with this, do you? Today you won't pass. Meanwhile, the well-dressed instructor is up in the sky killing all the bats. It seems that they won and she falls. The students thank the inspector for the good work. The blonde says, I was just warming up, but it's over already. However, an earthquake is happening and some chains come out of the ground and grab everyone's feet. Pedo disculpas pela confuso. Vau separar o texto em pargrafos para facilitar a comprenso. It was a trap that caught everyone. A guy arrives on a motorcycle saying, why do I smell a ghostly energy? That villain over there with those clothes go to a room. This is no place for that. But he says, oh, let me see the tricks I've caught this time. Hey, little girl, let's play the tum game. The guy next to him tells him not to touch the girl. The biker replies, your girl, then let's deal with you first. But the instructor arrived. Lin Xiao asks for help, but she rushes over, ignoring him and takes a whip to the mouth and falls into the arms of our protagonist. Heroes always show up when things get serious. Another task from the system. The host is asked to make a choice. Take the well-dressed instructor and flee the scene. Two points of agility. Kneel and beg the demon to let everyone escape. Two points of strength. Kill the demon and save everyone. A fragment that increases powers. He extends his arm. A hero can only choose option three. I will end this demon. The blonde says, are you crazy, man? This is a level B ghost. You won't be able to defeat it. But Lin Xiao already jumped like Michael Phelps. This is the diver's move. Comes with a punch but takes a chain in the middle of the face. I thought you were going to do more. He starts to float, hearing a voice asking what he is doing. It's the hot ghost again saying, you don't understand. You have to gather all the spiritual energy in your right arm. Here comes the protagonist, now all in flames. Ah, so that's how it is. She clings to him, making him think. When she makes that face, it's hard to resist. My God, she came so close that she won another kiss. As a man, I have to take the initiative. Come here. But he wakes up to reality. Friends are all pleading. Lin, don't die. Free us, man. He gets up. Look at Lin's arm. The villain is impressed that he can stand up. But you're still going to die. Take this, a chain. The well-dressed girl is scared. The trashy blonde does nothing but still complains. The protagonist stops the chain with his hands and says, What? Is this all? Are you sick? Already grabs the chain and throws it aside. Throws it into the mountain. Yang is puzzled. Where did this kid get this power? But the masochist is still standing and intact, saying, Not bad, huh? You even made me spit blood. But here it goes. The biker gives him a stare and comes drifting with a motorcycle. But Lin dodges. It's drifting and chain at the same time. The masochist says, Do you think you're going to win with a surprise attack? I want to see that. But our protagonist gets on the pillion and says, Hey, old man, let's go somewhere else. The masochist is a little confused. The instructor cuts off his motorcycle. And seeing that his spiritual power is running out, decides to self-destruct and says, If I'm going to die, you're coming with me. But the instructor saves Lin just in time. But she is injured by the explosion. He asks if everyone is okay. They look and see Lin coming out of the smoke, who says, Thank goodness we managed to escape. But as she was thrown by the explosion, her body hit the protagonists, and she's complaining of pain in the mountain. The boy says he's a gardener and asks if she wants him to take care of the area. But she refuses. You perverted bastard. The e-girls are all around our protagonist, while that filthy blonde is thinking, damn it, how did he manage to do that? Our hero completes the task. Brother, what about these copy-paste heads? Did the artist get lazy? Lin thinks, at least little by little, I'll unlock my psychic abilities. Too bad I ended up gaining a little fame. I just wanted to develop more unknownly. Out of nowhere, a robot comes and says that this was the end of the second level of the practical test. Everyone is confused. So all of this was part of the test. The robot explains the second level of the test is, in fact, a practical test of unexpected events. The performance of everyone was recorded by the nearby cameras. Those who've had a good performance will enter Kanglin College. Not even the instructor knew, and she gets very angry. But the robot says that the university doesn't inform the instructors to make it more realistic and says that the best candidate was Lin Xiao. Everyone is celebrating with him. The instructor thinks this Lin Xiao has an incredible potential in his body. His appearance will stir up the college quite a bit. Back at the mansion, the little sister asks, Brother, did you pass? Lin Xiao says yes, and his sister is happy. He climbs the stairs like Michael Jackson. And she says she knows today must have been stressful and that he should go up while she prepares some food. Talking on the phone with his other sister, Brotha, I'm curious to see if she's thick. Will she show up now? 
Just from behind, I could see she's a powerful samurai ninja. He tells her he passed the test, and she responds, very good, my brother. I have a task to do and have to go now. He falls onto the bed. Phew, my sister Chin Hua is really mysterious. Weird, my head feels heavy. He then falls asleep, but the talkative one appears. Both of you always sleep with her when you sleep. He feels embarrassed but says, hey girl, you better not keep coming into my room. I have a lot of energy, and I'll end up making a mistake every night. But the coast says she needs him. I can teach you to enhance your strength, but there's a condition. He asks, what's the condition? And the ghost replies, you'll have to marry me in the underworld. Lin questions, Mary, what do you mean? And she explains, you and I sign a soul contract to marry in the underworld. But drooling, he tells her, I'm a very decent guy and very young, and I can't get married. However, she doesn't care and says she can't wait anymore. She pulls his soul or hers. I don't know if it's coming or going. Lin's screaming. I think it left him. She hugs the protagonist, who says his head hurts. He starts absorbing some of her memories. It seems she participated in a fight 10 years ago and was defeated. And with that, she reincarnated in this world. Unfortunately, he can't see much. These are past memories, but I'm so calm. The next day, his sister knocks on the door. Get up, it's time for breakfast. You've been asleep since you got here yesterday. Lin wakes up thinking, why did that woman disappear already? If we're newlyweds, shouldn't there be a bachelor party? I haven't done anything with her yet. And what were those memories from the other life? Well, I'll ask later. Today is my first day at Kanglin College, and I'll have to part ways with Chio. She's already sad and holds his hand, saying, no brother, don't go. And he says, it's okay. I have to go to get stronger. But I promise to visit you on vacation. She's kind of happy, kind of sad. With that, the bus arrives, and the driver says, get in, kid. He says he's going. And with that, bye to his little sister. However, she's staring, thinking, you don't need to visit me, I'll go there. Our protagonist then arrives at the school thinking, wow, it's so luxurious here. What's more important is that it seems to have an infinite supply of beautiful women. Oh gear, here I go. Calm down, I have to focus on priorities and introduce myself for admission. Who could my mentor be? In an area where some instructors are competing for students, those guys are angry. Because the thick teacher is winning with melons, they complain to her, you have to stop taking the best students using that. She says she doesn't care, she's going to abuse her power. But look how our guy comes. My name is Lin Xiao. Is anyone here looking for me? The instructors who all found out about his performance on the test are already desperate, saying, Hey, Lin, come be my student. You'll receive the best items. No, no, come with me. You'll meet the best interns. They're all grabbing him. Rotha, our instructor, is back there. Will she use her weapon? One guy in a blue suit says to the other, Wan, you don't even have good pills. Lin has to come to our class. Yeah, right? You're a virgin. I'm going to find his sister for Lin. Lin's looking lost, my god, this school is kind of crazy, isn't it? Until the powerful one calls him Lin Xiao, beautiful boy. I'm instructor Jiang Lin. Why don't you come to my office? She already called him to the office. He's looking, thinking it's very big. Obviously, that instructor's talent is enormous indeed. The others get mad, telling her to stop stealing everyone. She tells Lin that those guys are all idiots and calls him. Our guy says he's going. Brotha, this instructor needs to go to the tailor. The buttons on her clothes are all bursting with talent. She tells our guy, as long as you worship me, I'll let you sleep in the best dormitory and give you special benefits. The other teachers know they can't compete against such an offer. Our protagonist immediately says she's the best and that he will forever worship her. She gives him a little kiss on the forehead and says, great, now you'll have to practice a lot. Don't disgrace me because if you embarrass me, you'll be in pieces. Lin is now startled and the hidden blonde overhears. Our guy thinks this school is too good. I can't believe I have a separate dormitory. It would be nice if I could play with the best stuff here. In the neighboring dorm, someone says, you're the newbie Lin Chao, right? My name is Shang Qian. I'm also a student in Jiang Lin's class. So I'm your senior, and I have the responsibility to help you. The two meet in the courtyard, and our protagonist greets him, who asks to be called Fatso. Lin asks if the instructor is fierce, and Fatso says she's a killer beast and explains, she must have seduced you and told you that when you learn, you receive special benefits, right? Lin agrees and asks what the problem is. Faxo warns that he was also betrayed that way at the beginning. As someone who came here first, I'm responsible for telling you. Missy tricked you. Our protagonist doesn't understand what he's getting at and asks Faxo to explain, who says, I won't lie to you. The mentor's nickname here is Witch. I shouldn't tell you, but the special benefit is actually something terrifying. And it's something most people can't even handle. You better give up now because unfortunately, there's no benefit in following instructor Zhang. Just be careful. Lin is now scared, wondering why he said all that. 
but now he's already accepted her, there's nothing to do. He then says goodbye to his friend and tells him to take care because he looks pitiful. The scene changes to the blonde talking to an old man, this Lin Chao guy was accepted as a student by Jiang Lin today. This guy always wants to make a fool out of me. You got to help me, grandpa. He's the son of the Gandalf around here. The old man agrees, saying he'll help him get rid of this Lin Chao. In the shower, our guy thinks, even with that instructor, this place is very comfortable. At that moment, a hand appears on his shoulder, startling him, and he asks, How do you always appear out of nowhere like this? Are you living in my body by any chance? She explains that she lives in his spiritual world, and he asks what that is. She explains that the spiritual world is a space around the soul. It contains a combat aura called spiritual power. Your spiritual world is very vast. It hides a large amount of power. It's a pity that your current strength is weak, and you can't harness much. Our protagonist asks if that's why she signed a marriage contract with him just to live in his spiritual world. She agrees, explaining that her spiritual world broke, and that's why she needs his. With every action or battle, she needs to replenish, and he's the best choice. Lin invites her, let's go to the bachelor party now because I've channeled a lot of spiritual power to you. But just then, someone knocks on the door. Who's at my door at this hour? He opens it, doesn't see anyone, and thinks it was a prank. However, there's movement in the bushes, and something suddenly passes by him, leaving him lost. What just entered my house? A yellow-furred weasel? The weasel asks him how he dares to dodge her attack. Our confused protagonist thinks, a herd of the legendary yellow weasel that appears in the moonlight. She asks you some questions and can even transform. The weasel takes advantage of the distraction to try a sneak attack, but is stopped by the scissors of the thick babe who says, How dare you try to touch my man? It's just a yellow-furred spirit, so I'm going to kill it. Our protagonist tells her not to do that, calling her mommy. He called her mommy? Even worse, she was happy about it. They then capture the weasel, who's afraid of being beaten and asks, What are you going to do with me? Are you going to eat this weasel? The protagonist says yes. If you don't want to be eaten, tell me. Why did you attack me? The weasel says she won't talk no matter what he does. I will never surrender. So Lin puts some water to boil and says, Today we're going to eat a little yellow furred creature. The weasel changes her mind instantly and reveals you were ordered to be attacked by Yang Wan. Lin recognizes the name immediately. It's the grandfather of the blonde who's a senior here. With that, the system presents the options. Choose one. Let the yellow one go. Give the little animal a chance. Reward, marrow elixir. Psychic talent. Awakening of class as choose two. Kill the yellow one and send it to the western paradise. Reward, fragment of power. Lin thinks the reward for choice one is more generous. But if I let this weasel go, I'll suffer the consequences. So you know what? He tells the weasel, I am merciful and refuse to kill you. Go away and I won't eat you. The weasel asks if he's telling the truth and he says yes. The red ghost didn't want to agree, but the weasel already ran away. System notification shows, you receive a marrow cleansing pill. As the weasel arrives at the door celebrating, Lin asks where she's going. The weasel is confused, asking, you said I could go, right? Lin replies, of course, but now he's changed his mind and will bring her back. He takes her back and ties up the weasel, who faints in fear. The ghost asks if he's going to eat the weasel, but he replies that he doesn't eat wild animals. I'll deal with this differently. The next day, the weasel wakes up and becomes the backyard dog and loses her mind. I've lived my whole life free, there's no way I'm being made into a guard dog. Crying, she asks to be saved. Our protagonist wakes up in his usual paradise, and the ghost seems to have fed on his energy all night. He thinks that after taking the marrow cleansing pills, his body became feverish, and it seemed like he had fallen into a coma, and apparently she protected him all night. It seems having a wife isn't a bad thing. Not to mention now I can touch her. She wakes up out of nowhere saying the night was too good. Min wonders, was I supposed to be so afraid of her? She says the protagonist is stronger and more handsome. And he says it's true. It seems the cleansing pills are working well, and I feel full of power. She says she doesn't know where he got the pills, and he knows she has no idea about the system. I thought maybe she knew or had some connection, but apparently not. She says the pills he absorbed were extremely strong, which is why he fainted. The problem is that his physical condition is still so weak that he hasn't absorbed everything. And she lay beside him to help absorb the power of the pill. I thought it was another kind of help, but it's okay. He absorbed it. She says that to improve absorption, he will have to increase his muscles and bones. He says he can increase them. How about we have a good fight? A training session for two? We'll share our medicine. She's a little embarrassed and he explains that he wants to protect her. She then explains to him, there's a way to sharpen your muscles and improve your bones quickly. In your current state, you only need external force hitting your body. He's confused about this external force hitting him. She explains that he needs to be abused. 
The scene changes to the people arriving at the school, and he's somewhat insecure about this method she passed on. The chubby one asks Lin if he's looking forward to the entrance ceremony, but Lin says no, he's more interested in using his charm. Ironically, it's already working since there are a bunch of girls interested in who he is. They offer him juice, but he says he doesn't need it. And he feels all conceited thinking, it seems like I'm gaining some fans. He then goes to Miss Zhang who says, let me introduce you to some people. This is Morong and this is Feng, your senior sister from the same class. They introduce themselves there and also to Su Tang in our class, she was your supervisor before. The girl who wears a lot of clothes, who was already angry, saying that our protagonist is late on the first day. But he goes up to her and says, just a few days have passed and your body seems well recovered. She blushes and tries to kick him. He dodges and she punches, which he dodges again. Lin is evolving and the poor girl is even getting tired. Feng, who has been training her body diligently, says, relax. I know a way to deal with people who think too highly of themselves. He confidently dodges everything until he collides with two mountains. The instructor says he has improved. Poor guy falls to the ground since the impact was too strong. And she says, I investigated the information and I didn't expect your father to be Lin Yuan. The chubby one is impressed to learn that his father is Lin Yuan. The hormone user says that Lin Yuan was once the strongest in the Ganglin Academy. And Lin thinks he didn't expect so many people to know about his adoptive father. But even though he's his son, he only has vague memories. And as an adopted son, he obviously didn't inherit his father's powerful genes. His childhood friend is there, confused, wondering, why does he seem to have improved so much? What did instructor Jang Lin do to him? The blondie wants to know why Lin Xiao is there. My grandfather said he was going to send a spirit to kill him. The scene changes to the old man telling everyone to be silent. The same guy who ordered the protagonist's assassination. He says good morning to everyone and introduces himself as Swan Yang, saying it's a pleasure to meet all of you today. I believe you all came with the idea of becoming strong. And then in the future, Ganglin Academy will witness your evolutions. I think this academy must be very difficult to get into because it's kinda empty. You could form a soccer team and maybe not even that. The president then says, now I want to call the best freshmen to collect their Ganglin order and give their testimonies. Lin Xiao asks what this Ganglin order is. The chubby one explains that it's a reward given only to the best new students. And it's also a personal space that can absorb items, so it's very useful. And then he shows his. Lin Xiao is even impressed that the chubby one was already such a great freshman. He keeps asking what he means by that. But then they see the testimony of the freshman Chu Noil, who says, Thank you for the award the academy gave me. I will meet all the expectations of this academy. Lin was just watching until the blondie showed up saying, Second class freshman Yang Yi and I will fight to be the strongest and bring pride to this school. Our hero is confused, this guy had a mediocre performance, how come he's up there? And then they call for him. 7th class freshman Lin Xiao, and the system came again. Please make a choice. Choice number 1. Give a normal and discreet speech. 5 points of agility. Choice 2. Be extremely arrogant and threaten the whole school so they know who's in charge. 5 points of strength. Choice 3. Positive speech. Move everyone with sincere feelings. 5 points of charisma. Again, the system with these choices. But what is this charisma point? Does it make me more popular? In theory, it would be good to be discreet, but I can't do that anymore, especially considering what that girl told me. I'm actually looking forward to taking the good beating. Choice number three. I'm glad to receive the title of extraordinary, but I don't think I deserve this. I'm useless and only have weak power. I don't have much to do. Why did you give me this title? Thank you for receiving me. Thank you, Academy. I will try to become a pillar. The school people even like that. I didn't imagine Lin Xiao was so modest. His friend was impressed. I thought he was going to do something stupid. The blondie gets angry, how dare he steal my attention? Mission accomplished, he earns 5 points. Now it's explained. The guy loves to cheat the system, it was all a lie. He then changes his speech and says, with all due respect, but in reality, you're all garbage. The damn guy just wants charisma points. Director Jiang seems pretty calm. He tells everyone, if you envy me, come here and hit me, let's see. Lin Xiao thinks I just need everyone to hate me. That will help me sharpen my bones and muscles. With that, it's the end of the ceremony. He walks toward the people and says, Come here and hit me, you idiots. But the chubby one and his friend already step in front. The chubby one asks people to forgive him today. But Lin Xiao already calls him garbage too. He changes his mind now. They ask if Lin Xiao wants to fight, huh? And with that, he is beaten up. He could have been beaten up by the coast in the room. At least it would have been more fun. Now the girls are thinking that he thought too highly of himself and leave. But the instructor liked it and is thinking, this kid is kind of crazy but he has a certain style. 
Apparently, he really wanted this to happen. I think he must have some purpose. In the next chapter, he's on stage shouting, Is nobody going to come here and beat me up? I am supremely handsome. And I stand here every morning. The enemy of the channel monetization appears and says, Hey Lin, why don't we come back another day? But he says he won't give up. He looks at some guys and says, You guys don't want to beat me up because I'm too handsome, right? The guys lose it and say, I want to beat this guy up anyway. He's been begging for a fight all morning. But one of them warns, he's kind of crazy, don't get involved with this madman. He leans against the wall sadly thinking, it's been hard to get beaten up lately. The guy passing by hears this and says, are you looking for a fight? Confess to one of the four beauties of the school, Mo Kingston. Our protagonist says, I am courageous, I will go confess. It seems like this is the path to what I want. Our ghostly woman doesn't like this much. He goes to the campus chat and writes, from today on, Mo Kingston will be my wife. If anyone refuses, meet me at location X and beat me up. Because I'd love her with all my heart. The ghost tries to contain herself, saying she knows he's just pretending. He's already happy to see that someone didn't like this and replied, Just because you're an extraordinary freshman, do you think you can do this? Wait for me. Our guy is now smiling and has a group coming after him. One guy even pulled out an AK-47. Are you Lin? How dare you mess with our Queen Mo? Let's kill him. Now Lin is even scared by the number of people who came. And the ghost is even somewhat sorted for him. However, in a room, someone saw the message in the chat and thought, Lin Chao, ha, huh, I'll remember you. It was the first time someone spoke up so bravely for me. He was brave, but now he's beaten on the ground. The guys leave, saying it's good he learned his lesson today. Look who's coming to protect Lin, saying those guys are too worked up. Did you know he's a new student? The guys are scared, and she says they have three seconds to disappear or they'll get a beating. The poor guys run away instantly. She looks back at Lin and asks, why are you getting involved in so many fights? Are you trying to toughen up your body? He awkwardly says no and asks what she wants. She responds saying that after training, she's going to open the spiritual spring. He curiously asks what that is. The instructor explains when the spiritual energy in the world recovered, countless treasures appeared on the earth. The spiritual spring is one of those treasures that can help improve your strength, but you'll have to compete with others for it. And she warns him to be careful and that it's open for a limited time. She also says it's good for him to thank her later. Our protagonist thanks her and says she's the most beautiful. She says she loves receiving compliments and since he's like that, come with me and I'll give you a special benefit. Our guy is now excited, his nose bleeds and he thinks I'm sure that Fatso lied to me. It must be a nice, enjoyable benefit. I'm sure I'll win. In the afternoon behind the school on the mountain, he's already dodging rocks to receive the benefit. The instructor tells him to train hard and just be careful not to die. Come on, there's still a lot for you to do. The poor guy is now wondering, is this a blessing or is it pain? And the sneaky fatso laughs at him. Later, he's under the waterfall taking a beating. That biker from before would love this. But our guy says enough of that. The instructor tells him he has to move on and face his fears. But now Lin Xiao wonders, why did I agree to this? Sometime later, he says he can't take it anymore. She says a real man never says no. But he complains saying he only trained all day. She didn't even let him eat or rest. She then decides to give the protagonist a few minutes off and says, A lawyer is adopted son, you don't know much, do you? Lin says that if it's about his father, he really doesn't know. Everything he heard was from other people. She then explains, you don't know how great he was. Ten years ago, an army invaded Kanglin. Monsters were killing the innocent and occupying all territories. It was an unimaginable and unknown danger. But it was your father who organized the border hunters and defended Kanglin. As a member of that team, I had the privilege of fighting alongside him. We protected the people and managed to stop the enemies. However, there were many as class enemies. And in the middle of the battle, some were injured, and some like your father died. Lin replies that he had no idea his father had died protecting people. And he thinks, no matter how much I've reincarnated into this body, I feel proud to have had such a father. I came to this world and I'm living comfortably that I almost forgot. This place is only peaceful because others fought for this peace. My parents and their predecessors, and now, even though my father has died, my sister continues to fight. Many hunters protect the city to keep it peaceful. Fate allowed me to reincarnate, and I just wanted to stay calm. But I know I can't live a life of only joy. For the sake of the world and the people I love, I have to get stronger. He stands up and says, I will protect this world. I want to continue and get stronger. She says, okay, then go and do another thousand push-ups. With her on your back to motivate you. The scene changes to a meeting where the guy who got flicked on the forehead is speaking Lin Chao. I can easily eliminate him. A simple freshman like him won't last seconds. The old man is hiring students to kill our protagonist. There are a thousand spiritual stones on the table. Take them and be ruthless. I don't want any mistakes. 
The guy thanks him, saying, don't worry, I have the qualification to enter the spiritual spring, and there I will defeat Lin. I'm being paid, but I already wanted to finish that guy off. Not only does he want to be the center of attention, but he also talked about my Mo Kingston. That trash is going to die. He then leaves without taking the stones, saying he'll receive them after finishing the job. The boy is all confident. It's because he hasn't faced the hefty ghost yet. Our boy leaves home all convinced too and says, Wife, I'm going to the spiritual spring. Maybe there's a chance for us to cultivate tonight, buddy. And she's all cute there at the door waving goodbye. In the last two days, with the help of my wife Hong Yi and further training from Professor Tan Lin, all the marrow pills have almost been absorbed. And Maya's class physique is almost ready. Look at the yellow weasel. I had even forgotten that this creature existed. He approaches and asks, What's wrong, little puppy? Why don't you want to eat? Isn't the bone tasty? The weasel responds, Who the hell are you calling a little puppy? Even if I starved to death, I would never take a bite of the food you hand me. Lin shows a piece of chicken, asking if she really won't. The weasel says she won't give in. But when he gets closer, she takes it and starts devouring it. He then stands up and the weasel warns him, Kid, you better be careful. Since I didn't return, Yang Wang will send someone else to finish you off. Our boy thinks the weasel isn't that bad after all and thanks her. They then arrive in front of the spiritual spring. Everyone is impressed. The instructor says, you all have 500 stones stored in your Kanglin order. This is to stimulate your cultivation, so keep them safe. After entering the spiritual spring, throw the stone into the spring to extract the energy from within. Lin asks, what is the spiritual stone? They say it's just a stone containing spiritual energy, nothing special. It's fuel to replenish your energy. With that, the spring opens, and the guys rush in desperately. The girl with a lot of clothes tells them to hurry up. They need to get the best resources. Look at this voluptuous little ghost making a heart, saying, Go ahead, little Lin Xiao. Come back soon. I'll be waiting for you. Lin thinks the scenery is beautiful, and each of the springs seems to have a separate cave. It's incredible that Kanglin College occupies such a large place. The chumpy guy runs off, saying, I'm going to help some girls find the spiritual spring. Our protagonist is lost, damn it, he didn't even tell me which one is the best. By the way, that Yan Lai is here. I have to be careful with him. I can't sense any special spiritual aura, so I can only rely on my senses. This door here seems big and imposing. I wonder if there's something important behind it. Here we go, spiritual spring, here I come. He kicks the door and finds two classmates at the cultivation springs. The one with blue hair says, this is the Lin Trash who confessed to me. The system also sent a message. Please make your choice. Leave the cave immediately after watching. Five agility. Jump into the spring and have a blast. Six psychic fragments. Apologize and gain five bonus points. He always surprises me. I never can guess what he's going to choose. Things have come to this point, so there's no need for me to explain. I'll move forward. He already jumped in for some wet fun. But he's been beaten up and thrown out. At least he got the fragments and saw something. A guy sees this and gets angry. Isn't this where Mo Kin Sheng is? Did he see her body? Lin, I'm going to kill you. Our protagonist thinks I got beaten up, but at least I found this spiritual spring. Too bad it's small, but I saw those beauties and still made some profit. It's not so bad. The aura of this place is so rich and comfortable. The best one comes and asks, Darling, am I not enough for you? Why do you keep messing with other women? Our protagonist gets scared and also gets bitten. I hope it wasn't with a monster mouth. Otherwise, he's done for. The poor guy suffers, thinking I didn't expect her to get jealous. But suddenly the door explodes. Who's the crazy one coming in? The guy enters shouting, Lin Xiao, how dare you defile Mo Kin Shen? Lin looks and thinks it's the guy who was with Yang Yi. But he doesn't care, already seeing him with a tiger's claw. Our Lin dodges, but the guy smashes his spring. However, the guy falls into some evil energy. Our boy is hanging on. But the guy grabs his leg, saying, I'll take you with me, Lin Xiao. Our hero tells him to let go, but ends up falling with him. Even the ghost girl is scared. Things are dangerous. He's falling into the eternal abyss and thinks, Elder Yang, this young man here has fulfilled his mission. Lin is also going, but is confused. We're out of the water. Why is there soil down here? The ghost girl comes to save our boy. The other guy broke on the ground. He fell down like in Fortnite with his glider. All happy thinking, luckily, I have my wife. On the ground, she says, unexpectedly, there's a space under the spring water. Greedy Lin already wants to know if there's any treasure there. She gets excited with this idea. They go to the guy who fell already onto his next life. She asks if he's shaken by killing the guy. But he says he doesn't care. The guy attacked him himself. And now it's time to take everything he has. He stole all the guy's stones. 
Han Yi says the spiritual aura here is very strong. So there are probably various ghosts and monsters nearby. He asks if there are other ghosts as beautiful as her. She calls him a stupid idiot. Those other ghosts will want to kill him. This is probably a ghost domain, a fierce and fatal place. Especially for a weak human like you. So this place is dangerous indeed. Then they hear a chuckle from the bushes. They look and see something bouncing. Did they throw a pokeball at the protagonist? He picks it up and wonders where it came from. Some monsters then appear, telling him to play with them. The system activates, kick the ball back and benefit. Three strength, find a way to kill these damn brats. Five power, or provoke them and become enemies, gaining eight power. He looks at the creatures and starts laughing, asking, do you want to play? Let's play then. Get the ball. And he kicks one in the head, who falls dead on the ground. The other is scared, saying, you killed my brother Xiao. But with this, he completes a mission. Hong Yi says he's now an enemy of those creatures. Isn't he afraid? He says this is what he wanted, thinking, I'm about to fully absorb the power of the pill. I want a bunch of monsters to come. Then a group of chubby goblins comes to attack him. In the next scene, he's already getting beaten up and the goblins think he's crazy for letting it happen. The goblins, seeing the ghost, wonder who is this ghost woman? Is she with the psychopaths? I don't think so, since she's just watching. On the ground, Lin is asking for more beating. The goblins decide to devour Lin with their big mouths and he starts calling for help. Hong Yi realizes that he's really in danger now and will have to help. But then she sees a light emanating and gets confused. Our protagonist has awakened the power of the Dragon Ball and comes out all muscular. I finally awakened the S-rank body. Dear, let's kill those brats. He charges in and starts pounding away, cutting here and punching there. She congratulates him on the S-rank body. Those previous beatings weren't in vain. Finally, I'm stronger. This S-rank body is great. I can feel all the meridians in my body burning. It's almost like I'm in reborn as a phoenix. The ghost girl is happy, but they sense something strange. Her spiritual hand pulls him and she says she felt the breath of a B-rank or higher ghost. It's likely a king, he asks, a ghost king. But she flies off, saying, it's better if we go up first, then I'll return to the spirit world. They managed to escape. The group of students is waiting there, and the teacher didn't come to help. It seems she just waited. She looks and asks, Ling Xiao, so you were underground. It seems your physique evolved. The chubby guy is envious of Lin's physique. The monsters were about to grab him, but she protected him with the power of the mountain. But our guy finds it odd. Why is she so serious? What could make her so scared? The instructors seem afraid. The guys have already activated their powers and managed to stop the monsters. In the next chapter, they're already back home with the ghost. He sees a news report on his phone about what happened. And they didn't find that boy's body. It seems Professor Tang and the others didn't find him in the ghost realm. Was he eaten? He receives a message from the chubby guy saying, since the spiritual spring was closed, the academy decided to reward the students who participated with Soul Jade. You have to go get it as soon as possible. He asks Hong Yi what a Soul Jade is. She just says it's an energy core found inside ghosts and monsters. And depending on the monster from which it was extracted, you can obtain some special abilities. He asks if every ghost has a Soul Jade. And where's hers for him to get? The chubby guy suffering their wonders, is this guy really going to treat me like a dog forever? Our protagonist is about to leave but puts some chicken soup out for the Funha and says, If it weren't for your warning, maybe I would have died at that guy's hands. Thank you very much. The yellow one says, are you realizing how good I am? Why don't you make good use of me then? But Lin just ignores. The Funha thinks at least he's different from Yang Wan, who always mistreated me. Lin Xiao is cruel sometimes, but you can see he's a good person. What am I saying? Why am I having a good impression of the guy who's imprisoning me? In Elder's office, he's losing his head in anger. Damn it, how did we fail again? The blonde guy tells the grandfather to send more people or someone more powerful. But the grandpa says they'll have other opportunities. Just wait a little longer. At noon, at the treasure house. This is where they'll receive the soul jade. This is the treasure house's caretaker. Everyone calls him Old Kang. The chubby guy tells Lin to behave. And the old man opens his eyes a bit, stares at Lin, and he's already impressed. Lin wonders, why do I feel like my aura is suppressed when he looks at me? The old man gets up and says, let's get on with it since you're here. In a room with the group, he's impressed, and the chubby guy says, all of these are stone boxes that store the soul jade. They were designed to test our strength. I already managed to open one, but it's really difficult. The old man then tells them to start. Everyone, find a way to open the box and receive your jade. Lin asks the chubby guy if there's a secret way to open it, but he says it's just brute force. Everyone is struggling but not succeeding. The chubby guy cultivates a bit, sends out an aura, and manages to open one. 
but he gets a trash jade. Lin realizes how it's done, but doesn't know which one to choose. It's like a lottery. Here comes the system. Keep a low profile and open the box normally. Receive five power points. Choose two. Open the box with destruction and receive eight power points. Choose three. Pretend to be a newbie and ask someone for help. Bonus four power points. Lin thinks it's testing his physical strength, so he decides to open it with a punch. The old man is lost, asking why he's opening the boxes like that. Lin tells him, you said to open the box any way I wanted. So I decided to smash it. And then he punches another one. The old man gets angry, telling him to stop breaking everything. Everyone runs to stop him, but the old man grabs and takes him to another room. Already in the room, Lin asks, why did you bring me here, old man? The old man tells him, what else was I going to do? Let you break everything. Now come, here are some rare soul jades I have. Seeing that you have good strength and talent worth cultivating, we'll make an exception, and I'll let you choose one. Lin is excited but still doesn't know which one to choose. The ghost whispers in his ear about the red jade. This is the burning ghost soul jade. Although it's an f rank jade and contains little spiritual energy, it's a rare jade that can stimulate potential and allow you to learn abilities from the flame system. Although your body is already s rank, you don't have good abilities. The old man says he has a good eye. This might be a low-grade jade, but it has great potential for enhancement. As expected of Lin Wan's son, the boy's vision is unique. The system then asks, the host carries a jade. Do you want to absorb? Lin thinks since Hong Yi and the old man said it's a good choice, this must be the right one, so he absorbs it. Successful absorption. Psychic energy gains enhancement from the fire attribute, unlocking a like on this video, my brothers. What do you think of our cheeky ghost to pet's eyes? Beautiful thing that I like. But let me bring more cultivation from this active little ghost and leave a like. Bye.